Howdy viewers all, my name is André and welcome back to Dyson Sphere program. Now this video is going to be short uh, because the only thing that I want to show you guys is um, how to use or how I'm going to use at least the uh, logistics station. So I've, I've said several times throughout this gameplay that my goal is to reach the planetary stations that's why this is not ordered that's why this is a bit of a mess um, because once you reach the the stage where you have planetary stations you can just move things uh, differently uh, which means that I'm going to actually reorganize all of my structures to use planetary stations now that is usually uh, a time-consuming thing and um, something that's probably not very good on video. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you uh, how I'm going to use the planetary stations. And then uh, between this video and probably the next one, I'm going to change how I got things here and um, yeah, and how things are going to be from from now on. So. Uh, first thing is obviously getting the uh, planetary stations. Uh, they are a big structure. Uh, the interplanetary ones are even bigger. And they consume some energy, so you need to be careful about that. What I want to do is... Let's place one here. Uh, here, for instance. Now, as I've mentioned before, each planetary... See that? Okay, it's consuming energy. Each planetary station and interplanetary station needs drones to operate. So I'm not going to put uh, all of the drones... Why do I have 42? Okay. I'm not going to put... Um, I'm going to put two. Um, two drones here. And I'm going to leave the, ne the other three for the other station. So here's how you work things out. Uh, stations work um, in, in a, a two-way uh, uh, thing. So you have a station that will provide goods and you have another station that will demand goods. That's easy. So, let's do... Um, okay, I am... Let's... Put this up. There. This is just as, uh, as an example, okay? Um, there you go. So, I gotta say, I wanna have copper ingots and I wanna uh, supply them. So, I am getting my copper ingots, as you can see, I am get getting my copper ingots from this, right, from, from sorry, uh, into this planetary station, okay? We're getting the ingots through here. And then I'm gonna go elsewhere, let's say, uh, a place where I need, okay, let's put it here. So, let's cross this, uh, let's do, there uh, am I okay what am I missing okay we just have let's do it like that so see that now we need uh, more um, copper ingots so what I'm gonna do is uh, we have that planetary station there that's saying okay oh so far away yet I can click it so we have 260 uh, copper ingots there now, there is a few settings that you can set up here. As you can see down here, uh, you, you, if you have energy issues or something, you can set up um, the, the, the Mac. For instance, if you have several uh, stations operating, uh, you, wanna, you, you might want to change how much charge will they drain from the power grid in order to work. Um, Otherwise, you might end up with uh, power shortages. So, be careful. Uh, this is something that I don't fully understand. But apparently, you can have... Well, I, I get what this is. I just don't understand um, how you would make this work. Basically, apparently, uh, you have a station. And you have a 180 degrees range, right? You can point... Uh, at which range will the transport drones work? 
I don't know why I wanted that, but okay. I don't even know if you can set what's the front and back, but okay. And then you have like the minimum load of drones. So you can say that uh, the minimum amount of, of good of goods that a drone will carry uh, should be like 100%. So only when a drone is fully loaded will that drone uh, transport the goods. Okay, that might that might be very useful. That will allow you to um, uh, be much more efficient with your trips. Now we have uh, I can you can set up let's see like this 800. So once it reaches 800, is going you're going to just see that happening right now. It's stop. It stops accepting goods, uh, or in this case, um, copper ingots. Now we have 800 there. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go and do the same thing here. Let's do another one of these things. Let's put it there, right? And what I'm going to do with this one. So this is the other end. Let's make one of them. So this is the other end. So. That one will supply uh, copper ingots. This one, on the other hand, will uh, will demand the copper ingots. Okay, so let's grab this and let's do Pumba like that. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to say... Uh, oh, and you can go and... Okay, let's set up the tower first. Let's say that I want to have uh, this and I want to demand. Okay. Instantly, let's do 100. Instantly, the drones are. Look at that. The drones are um, supplying this station with the goods that I want. This only has two drones. Okay. If I were to set up this. Oh. If I were to set up this with uh, more drones. See there? Then my drones would go and grab the goods from there. So you can actually have stations that do not have any drones and whose sole purpose is to have other places drones or other places stations deliver goods to them. Okay, so you might be able to um, work with that. Now, what do I want to do? Easy. I want to grab here and I want to say... If you press tab, you'll sh you'll s switch between um, the lines. So this line will be for copper. See that? And this is how things work. Once once things get um, uh, once things gets uh, once the demand uh, is needed, the drones will go back and forth, and that's how things work. And this is enough so that you can have patches of productions instead of having the big spaghetti mess that we have here. There are a few, there are things in which you're gonna have to have a spaghetti mess. But to me, this is like the, 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 the crown jewel, so to speak, of this game. Uh, is the ability to, for instance, I can go here Let's say here. And I could go and say, okay, I'm going to grab this oil, this iron, and this copper. I'm going to put the three together, throw them to a single planetary station, and say, you're going to supply crude oil, iron ore, and copper ore. And that's it. <laughs> Excuse me. And I could go and put it there. And this will be very quietly here, working perfectly. Then I would go here, for instance. Walk just a little bit. Or here, for instance. And do the same thing. Another planetary station. Getting the crude oil and coal. And setting it as a supplier. And you can do that throughout the entire planet. Taking advantage of all of the veins and crude oils that you have there, right? Have everything set up. And then you can go to a good area where you can, uh, okay, where I need to go, where's my thing? Okay, there you go. And then you can go, for instance, here, 
which is an open area with uh, okay I do have a lot of water here but let's pretend that we don't have any water and then I can start setting up my production set of things for instance I can have let's put this area where I'm going to produce um, engines whatever it's called uh, those where are you? these things here so this requires uh, ingot uh, copper and um, iron ingots the rest you can just make it so you know what I mean you can just provide things and that's or, or you can just for instance have a production of magnetic coils and then provide the magnetic coils to to whatever you want and you can just get them on demand and this is an extreme this is a game changer on this game okay once you reach this area you can just start uh, pushing things into the planetary stations and have things work just beautifully and that's what I'm gonna do so uh, on uh, between this video and the next I will most likely just remove everything that I have here and I'll just start putting uh, planetary stations throughout the entire planet uh, and then just have it uh, supplying um, patches of production where I can make things uh, better and now you one of the other reasons in which this is amazing is that for instance you need to have let's take a look at this you need to have to make a red cube you need hydrogen and uh, what's this graphite okay now if you need more hydrogen all you have to do is go to an area where you have hydrogen because you can get hydrogen from other places and just set up a few planetary stations there and eventually that hydro that extra hydrogen that you are producing will come to this that's it so it is an amazing thing it is what I'm going to concentrate my next um, uh, efforts in. I'm going to do that most likely offline because um, uh, I think putting that in video is just a little bit um, not not friendly for YouTube. Okay, people will just not see it. So I'm going to dismantle most of the things that I have here. I'm going to make uh, th I'm going to push things into planetary stations and then. I'm going to move uh, my production things to elsewhere and I'm going to uh, have things done through that. And that's it. I just, uh, how much time? Okay, 12 minutes. Yeah, short video. So, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little gameplay and uh, I hope to see you all on my next one. Bye-bye.